What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Bo, for anything. And let's talk about women. Let's talk about the women here in Dallas. Now, this is a video that's been requested for a while, you know, whether in person or whether it was online. Fellas usually reach out to me and they want to know, hey, man, how's the women? And they usually want to know two things. How do they look? How do they act? Because ladies, I'm just keeping it real. Fellas care about those two things, okay? Above anything else. And so I'm making this video to just kind of tell you my experiences. So as a disclaimer, keep in mind, I'm not talking about all women. I can't talk about all women. I'm only telling you the perspectives of a man who's dealt with women on the East Coast, New York versus Dallas, Texas, and just giving you my observations. So take it with a grain of salt. Not all, not all, not all. Okay. I know somebody's still going to leave me a comment saying, I'm not like this and I'm not like that. Da, 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 da. Whatever. So anyway, let's get right on into it. Let's talk about how do they look, right? Uh, for the most part, the women in shape, for the most part, the women take care of themselves. Um, and I think it, a lot of it has to do primarily with the weather. All right. Whenever you're comparing warm weather state with a mixed weather state, you're going to have scenarios where because the temperature is high, um, you tend to be more outdoors. So therefore, you want to be comfortable. You have to wear uh, more fitted clothes. You tend to want to be in shape. Right. As opposed to on the East Coast or in New York, I'm comparing it to because eight months out the year, it's mostly cold. You can kind of hide under a big coat. You can hide under a hoodie. You can hide under loose clothing. That's why you find that, you know, come May, April, May, people thinking, oh, man, I got to get right for the summer because they know they really only get get two, three months of the good weather and then it's back to getting cold. Right. And so I notice a difference there. You know, most of the women here, when I run into them, they usually have workout clothes. Right. And it's not that they just worked out, but it's just because they want to be comfortable. Right. So a lot of yoga pants and that's that's a very good thing, fellas. That's a very good thing. So let's continue. Now, let's talk about the approach, right? How do they act? OK, um, I find that the women here are a bit more welcoming. Um, they're a bit easier to approach. And a lot of it has to do with the mentality, right? The mentalities are different. They come from different walks of life. Uh, but I think also what it plays into is the fact that their basic needs are met for the most part, right? Most of the women that I've interacted with here, they drive, they have a car, they tend to have a job, they tend to have a place to live, okay? And those are usually the things that you want to make sure that you have. Once you have those things together, then everything else is just kind of like gravy on top. And so when you approach them or when you meet them, you, you have to really bring something to the table, right? Whether it's your personality, whether it's whatever it is, because they don't necessarily need you for those other factors, right? Now, how does this compare to meeting women in New York? Now, and this is not a knock against the women. Here's the reality. Most of the women that I've interacted with, they either don't drive or if they do drive, they don't have a car. Why? Because they don't really need to. OK, so it's not a knock. This is I've, I've had homeboys that I've known, grown men don't have a car, don't drive uh, because you have the MTA. You got the bus, the train. Um, you could take the ferry. Most of the time, people are working in the city. They can they, they don't need to have a car to get where they're going. It's more crowded. It's hard to find parking. The insurance is higher. The cost of living is higher. So one of the ways to reduce that is, you know, not having an extra bill. Right. And usually you have a friend in your circle, which is usually me, <laughs> who has a car that you could just take a ride with and go where you need to go um, out here. You can't really get away with that. You need to have a car because just to get around. So you're going to have levels, right? You're going to have those basic needs. And then, of course, you're going to have those women that are more high maintenance um, that are in certain parts of Dallas that, you know, it's, it's, they're going to be more bougie. And so it's, it's they're going to be paying attention to more of the materialistic things. Doesn't mean you got to deal with them. Right. But they exist here. OK, so it's not like it's everybody here. All the women here are just, you know, open arms and ready to no, You know, you, there's still women at the end of the day. OK. Um, another thing I want to talk about is this, because I think this is very, 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 very important. OK. Keep in mind. Women nowadays tend to fall into one or two categories, okay? 
they're either going to be liberal and have a feminist mentality or they're going to be conservative and have a more traditional mentality. All right. That's all walks of life. That's not exclusive to just Texas or New York. This is period. I'm just telling you, this is what it's boiled down to these days. OK, so you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to deal with? What are you willing to tolerate? All right. Now, as a result, your location and the mentality, right, if they tend to fall more on the traditional and conservative side, um, again, they're going to be thinking more about what it is that they bring to the table and they're going to be thinking of wanting to be in a relationship. So, again, you trying to develop something with them, they're going to be more open to that. Women that tend to be more on the liberal side, that tends to be more defensive, that tend to feel like they want to do things on their own. You're not going to really find your way into their lives because either you're going to be providing some sort of resource or they just don't really want to deal with you. Right. And so, again, the mentality is going to be important. And so the location does play a part into it. And so what I find is um, they're a bit more easier to approach over here and they tend to be a bit more on the traditional side. Um, They'll approach you first. They'll invite you out to places, you know, you can invite them and they'll, for the most part, come along, you know, they're, they're more willing to go through the courting process where I find that, you know, most of the women that I've dealt with on the East coast, eh, they're not really into all of that. You know, they want to know right away, you know, what kind of job you have, you know, what kind of car you drive, what do you, and I know what you're thinking, man, you got to sound like gold diggers and da, da, da. I'm not saying that. And you know what? I'm not faulting the women. I don't fault the women at all. You know, as men, you should want to, you know, make sure that you can provide, make sure that you can do things. And a woman has a right to be interested in a guy for whatever reason, the same way a guy has a right to be interested in a woman for whatever reason. Hopefully you find somebody that can fulfill your requirements and vice versa. So this is not a video of me knocking whether they want, you know, this group of women prefer this or this group of women prefer that. Whatever. To each his own. I know what I'm into. I know what I like. And I'm, I'm just searching for that. Okay. So the mentalities tend to be a bit different guys. So keep that in mind. Now here is the bad news. Okay. Cause you know, this, 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 here's the bad news. What I find that most of the women out here tend to be in relationships. Okay. Because if you come across a good woman who has a good head on her shoulders, who have her basic needs met, that means that she's tend to look at you as somebody that she wants to build with as opposed to somebody that she's looking to um, as a come up. Right. The good women are mostly taken. All right. That's just how it is. And that's across the board. Right. The good women in New York. Most of the time, there's some men, you know, there's going to be a man lurking in the background. All right. So that means, fellas, you got to bring your A game. So when guys usually ask me, how's the women? I usually tell them, look, as long as you focus in on your purpose, as long as you are doing what you need to do. You're going to attract women in your life and it's on you to, to choose, you know, which woman you feel is down with your program and you go from there. Right. But if you ain't got your stuff going on, don't even be don't even worry about another woman, because at the end of the day, if you can't maintain yourself, um, you shouldn't be in a relationship at all anyway. And so the women out here, you're going to run into them. They tend to be in a relationship. That's cool. You know, there's plenty of women out there. Um, I just find again, you know, I'm not surprised, you know, when I when I run into a lot of the women out here who have a good head on their shoulders. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, it is what it is. All right. So that's basically everything I could think of. Oh, wait, one other thing. Um, what you'll find, too, is that there's more things to do outdoors. And so usually in the dating process or when you meet a woman, um, you don't have to necessarily be thinking about a high price restaurant or you know, having to do things indoors because of the warm weather state, because of the fact that restaurants are going to have outdoor seating, there's going to be plenty of outdoor events. You really get to know the woman. And so they become a bit more down to earth. All right. And they can enjoy their environment. I've gone on walks at the lake, gone to the park, gone to events that are outdoors with women and suggested it to them. And they were like, cool, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, because why not? You know, the weather's nice. There's an, like their, their mindset does not drift directly towards 
It got to be a lounge. It got to be a club. It got to be some sort of indoor event. It's just not. You know, you could say, hey, let's go to the park. Let's go. You know, I'm having a barbecue. I'm having something by the pool. And they 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 come to expect that. And so they're going to be more willing to partake in that versus, again, in New York, you got to kind of figure out, you know, what's the indoor event that I could take her to that she's going to like. Right. So I find that you can really go, you know, you can have more fun getting to know uh, the women out here as opposed to my experiences um, on the East Coast. That's just me. All right. So that's all I got for this video, man. Hopefully that tells you a little bit more of, you know, what to expect when you come out here. Um, again, not all women. I'm just telling you these are basic things that I've observed. At the end of the day, um, you're going to pick whoever is the right person for you. But just make sure that you are following your purpose. Make sure that um, whatever it is that you want out of others that you're able to provide as well. OK, let's not. Let's not just be running around here expecting other people to do things that you ain't willing to do. Knock it off. Okay, knock it off. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you find this video useful. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments down below, man. If you, you know, if you a dude out here in Texas, you know, let me know. Did I miss something? Is there something you want to chime into? If you're a woman out there, you know, and, and, and hopefully you're not offended, but it is what it is. Leave a comment down below, too. You know, let me know. Uh, what did I miss? So that's it for today, guys. Peace and love. I will catch you on the next video. I'm out.